Honeybee populations are declining so rapidly it's a big concern for agriculture across the country and here in Illinois, which means big concerns for our food supply. Our Climate Watch investigator Tara Molina cast a wide bee net and spoke to two scientists researching this at the Chicago Botanic Garden. This is a honeybee. A new report shows commercial beehives lost more than 60% of them in less than a year, but they're not the only bees we're losing. Experts here say there are a couple things you can do at home to help. There's a bee. Yeah, so we're just right over okay, here. Yeah. If bees were a man's best friend. This is a, a, a female honeybee. She's a daughter of the queen. These two guys would be at the very top of the list. Meet Paul Caradonna and Nick Dorian. First time petting a bee. Oh, <laughs> he's a cute little guy. And so we can let him go. And there he goes. They're scientists at the Chicago Botanic Garden and bee experts. To put it simply, both tracking the dramatic drop in honeybees and what that looks like nationally and locally. We don't exactly know what's going on, especially with this recent round of declines. With a nationwide survey showing commercial honeybee colony losses are at a new high point this year, losing more than 1.6 million from June to March. Uh, about three quarters of the top global crops from apples to blueberries to coffee to watermelon uh, require bees to be pollinated. The decline, why researchers are warning the drop could affect your trip to the grocery store, with honeybee pollination critical for food production, according to the USDA. Both experts quick to point out the decline is more widespread. And with fewer bees, not only fewer, uh, fewer of them, but fewer species of them, um, our food system is at risk. A spokesperson for the USDA told me they're concerned about this and its impact on our food supply. Quote, USDA Agricultural Research Service scientists are working closely with federal partners, stakeholders, and impacted parties to identify the source of this agricultural challenge. We're likely to see, whether it's this year or next year, if we don't solve these problems, that that will affect offerings in the grocery store and the cost of things. Some of the factors known to affect bee populations our changing climate and a widespread use of pesticides. The Illinois Farm Bureau telling me they've invested $145,000 to support pollinator habitat projects across 28 counties statewide. But you don't have to spend six figures to be part of the solution. They say it's as easy as planting a small garden or putting some bee friendly plants on your balcony. Start with a, a couple of flowers that you find really attractive. Just take it from a bee's best friend. Reporting in Glencoe, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago Investigators.